Hi there, my name is Mitchell Kennedy and welcome back once again to Red Belly Media. Last time I showed you this, turned into this. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to be using a free 3D model I found on a website called TurboSquid.com. This website contains thousands of 3D models. If you don't want to spend any money like me, be sure to change the maximum price to zero dollars and ensure that the format selected is the Cinema 4D format. Once you've downloaded the model and you've imported your video footage into After Effects, the first thing you're going to do is track the footage using Mocha. Simply select your footage and go to Animation, Track in Mocha. This will launch Mocha automatically. Check the resolution and frame rate, match your footage and press OK. Using the pen tool, draw a mask around the object you wish to replace. Select the planar grid button and check the perspective box. Then click track forward. When the track is complete, click on export tracking data and select one of the corner pin options. Then click copy to clipboard. Next create a solid, make it a 3D object and apply the grid effect. Select the solid, check that the playback cursor is at the beginning of your sequence and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the track data to the solid. This will help you see if the track is working properly. We'll also use this solid once we move into Cinema 4D. Next, create two nulls and keyframe their positions to follow the first and last tracking markers on the object you wish to replace. The last step before moving into Cinema 4D is to create a camera. Also make sure that the nulls are 3D before moving on. To export our project data to a Cinema 4D file, go to File, Export, Max on Cinema 4D Exporter. When you're selecting a file to save to, select the same file that contains your RPG model and its textures. Now we need to import this Cinema 4D file back into After Effects. To open the Cinema 4D file, go to Edit, Edit Original. So now in Cinema 4D, if you preview the scene, you can see the solid without its grid effect, as well as the two null dots. To import the RPG model into your scene, click File, Merge Objects. Select the RPG Cinema 4D file and press Open. The model will appear as a null. Click and drag it onto the grid solid to parent it to the grid. Turn the grid solid off and change the camera view to default camera. It's important to only navigate around your model in this view to avoid messing with the camera created in After Effects. Adjust the model's scale and rotation to line up with the null dots until they are no longer visible. Once you're happy, change the camera back to camera 1 and save the file before jumping back to After Effects. You can delete the camera, nulls and solid as they are no longer required. Drag the Cinema 4D file into your composition and you can see the model now roughly located in your scene. Continue adjusting the model's scale, rotation and position until it fits into your scene perfectly. Be sure to save each time before opening After Effects for the changes to take place. Once you're happy with the model's position, it's time to add a light. Click the light bulb and change the light's position to match your scene. Add as many as you need for your particular scene.
Now that your 3D model is composited on top of the scene, the final step is to blend it into the footage. Add a camera lens blur to eliminate the extreme sharpness and a matte choker if your model has a white halo. Next, use curves on both layers to match the colors. A useful tip for matching the colors is to change the preview color selection to just red and adjust only the red values in curves until the RPG looks similar to the rest of the scene. Repeat this step for the green and blue channels and the RPG should start to belong within your scene. The final step in the process is to duplicate your footage layer, move it above your 3D model, then mask out any features that should appear on top of the model such as the shoulder and hand. Also duplicate the Cinema 4D layer and do the same with curves applied to add the shadow layer on the RPG. Once you've done that, colour correct your whole scene to the desired look and that's it. Now this project was pretty rushed, but if you can take this technique and combine it with plenty of patience and attention to detail, the sky's the limit when adding 3D models to your own videos using Adobe After Effects. If you've got any suggestions for short film ideas or tutorials that you'd like to see on this channel in the future, leave a comment down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.